going on? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash. I want to show you our bleach transfer system uh, this training video. So first and foremost, we got to make sure that we have our black hose into the tank. That's actually our pickup tank, our pickup tube. We come over here. Now, depending on the way we've configured it, but ultimately black hose comes to right here. We've got this opened up. So now that's going to allow bleach to come into our pump here, which is going to come out over here comes up to the pump, goes through, and I'll show you over here. We've got a ball valve and cam lock system. Right here, we open that up. Now before, sorry, we cam lock them on together, open up this side, then open up the actual other side because this side's gonna be pressurized sometimes. You wanna do this while the machine and system's off. Um, and then there's a little ball valve to connect and turn the bleach on. Right here. All right, so you can hear that sound. You can hear the sound of bleach pumping. Come over here. You see the pump over, or the tank? Now we hear it pump it in. So now the solution's going in. All right, now on these, if it's below that strap or below, we'll have a line on here that'll say 70 gallons. Um, it needs to be topped off. If we have at least a big roof job or we've got a large $1,500 to $2,000 job the next day, it needs to be topped off. 90, 95 gallons, it doesn't have to be all the way to the tip, tip top. Um, when we're done pumping, what we do is we come over, again, keep an eye on it. We should be doing this while we're cleaning up stuff for the end of the day. Shut that off. Okay. And actually what we'll do first, we're going to close the bleach line, open this up because this will send a little bit of air through it. Oh, we can actually, sorry, we'll open this one. That wants to open up a little bit better. That's going to send air through this whole system. Again, we may have it configured a little bit differently to blow air through the whole system, but right now that sucks air through it so we don't have bleach sitting in that pump. It closes for now. So let's just say we've gone ahead and put a little bit of air through there. That's fine. Come over here. Now, this order that we open it up is going to be very important. You have to close off the tank side the vehicle side close off this side so that takes the pressure out sorry I just goofed that up so let's just say the orange side is open we've gone ahead and closed this side because that's going to trap whatever pressure behind it this side there's no pressure or whatever pressure is there we're going to close that now and then now we can you want to look away when you do this but lift up one side of it and then take the other side off we don't want to undo both sides at the same time if there is some residual bleach in there, it's going to leak out, not explode all over you. Um, oh, there we go. But, and then when we do take them apart, we want to try and lean this so that it drains any residual bleach that's in that little, in that um, coupler onto the ground. We don't want to get that on the truck. And then put that up so it's actually hanging up here, not just dangling willy-nilly and whatnot. So that is the bleach pumping system.